In 2018, Apple released the Shortcuts app along with iOS 12. The app lets you create macros that will run actions or commands to perform repetitive tasks. It's been around since iOS 12 and we're on iOS 17 now. You may not know about this app, but today we're gonna to take our first step in the Shortcuts and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel everyone. Today we're going to open up the Shortcuts app and talk about how it works. There are some really cool things you can do with this app. You can also automate a bunch of tasks that you might be doing every day. We'll talk about what the app does, how to find existing shortcuts that you don't have to create. There's already a library of them you can choose from. And we'll create a simple shortcut you can test out. Then I'll show you a shortcut I use every day to create a new daily note that gives me a quote of the day, weather, my calendar entries. It's like my own personal journal app in notes. Plus I'll show you how to share shortcuts just like my daily note shortcut that I'm going to link in the description below. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video. If you found it useful, subscribe and turn on notifications to know when I post new how-tos and reviews. Let's open up the app and take a look around. Okay, one of the things that I wanted to show you before we look at the iPhone Shortcuts app is that you have a Shortcuts app on your desktop. So starting with Mac OS Monterey and all the versions after that, Shortcuts is actually available on your desktop, which is really cool because you can come in here you probably won't initially have as many shortcuts as I do here, but um, you can go to the gallery and there are a bunch of shortcuts available that you can choose from and you can start off with some that are already made. So um, this is really neat to scroll through and see. You might have a shortcut here that's already created that you can use. Um, and some of these are specific to a desktop as opposed to your iPhone. So uh, like the get organized one here, the split screen two apps, if I add that in, I'll choose my first app and second app and then add the shortcut. And that's a, a shortcut that's just made for the desktop. So pretty cool that you can do that. The other thing that's really cool is that they sync between your iPhone and your desktop. So if I'm looking at shortcuts and maybe I wanna make a change to this multi-button one, if I right click and edit, I can edit all the steps within the shortcut. And if I was running this on my iPhone, um, I can make all my changes here from my desktop and not have to use the iPhone keyboard. I can use my regular keyboard, make all my changes, and then it's going to sync to the shortcut that's on my iPhone. So that's a really nice thing as well. And then the last thing before we go into the iPhone is if I right click, I can share this um, shortcut, which is how I shared my uh, daily note one that you see below in the description. And when I share that, will take you to something that looks like this with a shortcut page and then you can get the shortcut. So you might be out there on the web looking for a specific shortcut. Someone might have shared it and it's really easy to download and get that shortcut and then just import it basically into your iPhone so you can use it too. All right, I just wanted to show you that on the desktop and that it's available um, and let's go into the iPhone and look at that. So here's the icon that you'll be looking for. If I open it up, um, you have a list of a bunch of shortcuts that uh, you may or may not see, some that are predefined, but most likely what it's gonna do is it's gonna start showing you shortcuts that are available um, based off of apps you have on your phone. So I have like this American shortcut that um, came up just because I have the app on my phone. Um, there's some like for ETA and fantastical, um, at the bottom you have shortcuts, automation, and then gallery. Gallery is similar to what we were looking at on the desktop. So these are things you can scroll through and look at and see that there might be a shortcut already available for you. Um, and then automation is if I want to automate a shortcut. So every morning at 6 AM, I might want to run a shortcut. Okay, so let's create a really simple shortcut. Then let's um, do a shortcut where we use the rear camera to take a picture for us um, and just make that an automatic thing. So every time I say pick please, it's gonna take a picture for me on the rear camera and show me what the picture looks like. So if I click the plus at the top right, I'm in my new shortcut screen and I can add an action. My action is gonna be 
to take a pic. So I'm looking for things with photos. There's take photo. I'm going to tap on that. It's going to take one photo with the back camera and there's a little arrow next to camera. If I tap on that, it's going to do it and show the camera preview. I actually don't want to do that. I'm going to turn that off. But then my next action, it's going to give me some suggested actions and I'm going to save this to my photo album and it's going to save the photo to recents. And then I want to add one more thing to this. I want to, um, I want it to show me the photo. So at the very bottom, there's a way to search for apps and actions. If I tap on that, it's going to bring up some options within categories or apps that I can, I can look at. I'm going to look at all actions and just to show you, these are all the actions that you can do and all the variables that you have based off of apps you've got loaded up on your, on your phone, um, everything that you've got here. So these are, this is everything you can do. Um, I'm going to look for the result. So I want to see the result of the photo. So there's my show result and it's going to show that saved photo media. So now I'm going to tap on done. Um, let's see if I can. So before I tap on done, there's a few things here. I, I clicked on the, um, the little down arrow next to show result. And here I've got the new shortcut. I can rename this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to call it pick please. And then I can tap on the icon to the left of that. And I can look for an icon that I can assign to this. Um, let's see, I'm going to look for a camera. There's my camera. Um, so I've got my camera icon and then I can tap on that again. And if I want to change the color, I can change the color of it. I'll hit done. And then we'll go to the right of the pick please. And you can see, you also have the ability to choose your icon here, duplicate this, move it. You can add up, actually set up folders here. Um, so you have the ability to do that as well. I'm going to hit done. And there's my shortcut there. So I can run it just by tapping on it. But let's try out the Siri portion of it. So if I swipe back to the home screen and let's try it. Hey Siri, pick please. and took my photo and there's my photo right there. So it gave me the preview and showed me what it looked like. So it was easy as that to create a shortcut. So that is awesome. Let's jump back in. And now if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to share this. If I tap on the dots here and right click, I can export this as a file. You can add this to your home screen. If I go back to done and I long press the pick please, you'll see the share. And if I hit share, you'll get options here. And one of the options is to copy the I iCloud link. So I can copy this link and I can send it, or you could just use messages to send this, or you could put it in your notes. You could um, do anything you want to with it from there. All right, so if you went through that, you just created your first shortcut. Congratulations, that's awesome. I'm glad you did it. Let's edit this shortcut. So I'm gonna click on the three dots on my pick, please. It's gonna bring up the steps for the shortcut. And now I wanna change this. So maybe I don't want the back camera. Maybe I want the front camera. Maybe I wanna just ask me every time. So I'm gonna change it to ask each time. And I'm gonna hit done. And let's go back and try this out. Hey Siri, pick please. I'm going to choose front. And there I am uh, testing this out with you guys. So that is how easy it is to edit. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is a shortcut that I created that puts a daily note in my Apple Notes uh, program every day. And you can automate this, so you can have this automatically run every day at a specific time. And it gives you like a, a, your own little journal. So let's take a look. Uh, it's more of an advanced shortcut, but I will post a link to it in the description below, so you don't have to create this, but you can, you can take this, alter it, kind of how you want to use it, 
and and go from there. So um, I'm going to right click here, edit, and let's look at what this does. So I'm going to uh, kind of expand this down a little bit. And a few things are happening here. The first thing is I use carrot for weather. So it uh, on my desktop, it doesn't find carrot. So on my phone, it would show this action being run of getting the weather from carrot. Um, I'm going to stick with showing this to you on the desktop because you can just see it better, um, I think. And you can put comments in here. Um, the next thing that happens in the next section is I go to Brainy Quote and I get the quote of the day. And I do some formatting on that, which makes it look like the text box of the updated text and a title. So basically it gives me the quote and then who set the, the quote. To take calendars next. So the next thing it's going to do is look at a couple of calendars that I have. It's going to pull the events. And then under text, it's going to put in these variables that I've put in. Uh, one is entry, the start date and time, to the end date and time, the location, and then notes. And it's going to keep repeating this until the count, it, until it gets all the entries from the calendars and the count is zero. And if the count is zero just to start, then it's going to have the text at the very bottom that says nothing on your personal calendar today. So that is the next thing. The, the thing after that is I like to put the location of where the note happens. I travel sometimes for work, and that's a nice way to have the location in my note so I know where I was when I started taking the note. So I get my current location, and then I do some formatting of that to get the longitude and latitude of where I took the note. In, in more of a short format because longitude and latitude can go crazy. Like I think it goes to like 10 decimal places or something like that. Um, so I do that and I format it to two decimal places. So that's the next thing I do. And then I like to format my time and date a specific way. So the next section where the comment starts is to get the current date and time uh, and then format it in the way I like it formatted. And if I click on the set variable to the formatted date, I can go in and I can start seeing how that's formatted. Again, um, I'll probably do another video on this to, to go into more specifics on this. Uh, really, this is just an introduction into shortcuts just to kind of show you how they work. Um, and then the next thing below that where the text is, this is where everything comes together. So all the variables and everything, I got the weather, the quote of the day, my calendar items, my longitude and latitude, all of that stuff comes together and it gets put into this text box with the title of my note, which is the date. And then my quote of the day that shows here and I have some emojis that are in here as well. Today's weather where it shows me the high and the low. And then my schedule, the calendar, the city and state that I'm in, uh, when I got my location and the latitude longitude that all gets put into a note and then that note gets uh, I create a note in my Apple notes an, in a specific folder so every day I either run this or I, I'll automate it and it'll run for me and it creates this daily note that puts um, everything in my ca uh, in Apple notes for me so it's a really nice shortcut it's a really nice kind of journal you could you could look at this text box here and you could add things into it. You could add a, a daily prompt or something like that that you might want to have every day just to keep a journal here or um, anything else that you might want to use too. So this will be, um, like I showed you how to share uh, a shortcut. I'm going to share this out and it'll be in the link below. And again, you can mess around with this and change it around, um, go in and use it as your test. And I'd love to hear in the comments if you if you use this or maybe you created a different shortcut. I'd love to hear about it. Love to know what you created with shortcuts. I think it's a great app. Um, and have fun with it. So that's our look at the shortcuts app and how to use it. I wish Apple would put a little more development into this because I think it's great. I have seen where an iOS update comes out and it might break something in shortcuts. So be aware of that. Overall, though, it's a great app and I use it every day. Well, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.